Hey everyone, it's Anna. In today's Ask Anna article, it's about how to stop biting your skin. And Summer writes, Hi Anna, I have been reading about your Bliss Kiss products and received it yesterday in the mail. So excited. Last night, I took photos of my nails with a macro lens and was shocked at how terrible my nails were that close up. I immediately applied the oil, then before bed I, I applied it again. This morning I woke up and my nails look so much better already. Thank you. Even though I am in the middle of my three-day Get Naked Challenge, I had a couple of questions that I didn't see on your website. One, right now my cuticles are really thick. In the past I would pick, pull, bite them off. What do you recommend while I'm going through this naked phase? I pulled one of them off already and I'm so disappointed with myself. Two, once my cuticles are healed, what is the best method of cuticle care? And three, I am oiling my nails up to the first knuckle and rubbing the residual into my hands like you asked, but I am also used to using lotion. Can I still use lotion or will the oil on my fingers help the dryness of my hands? So I wrote, Summer, I am so looking forward to seeing your results. So let's take a look at what biting does. What you are biting is actually the proximal fold of the epinicium. The entire planet has been taught incorrectly that it is the cuticle. That band of skin is a required guardian seal that keeps bacteria and germs away from the nail matrix. This is where new nail cells are formed. The body's response to the biting damage is to grow thicker layers of skin so it can protect better. Essentially, your body is trying to turn that skin into calluses to protect from the wear and tear that we can inflict on ourselves with our fingers or our teeth. Every time you want to bite, pick, pull, etc. on that skin, these are actually your triggers that the skin is drying out and needs more oil. Ultimately, you want to keep a really thin layer of oil on your skin at all times for quite a while. For me, it usually means I oil my nails every few hours when the weather is not being very nice. Um, when the weather is more mild, I can oil my nails like four times a day and that's enough. Um, I oil a lot more during the winter uh, and the summer uh, because that skin dries out really easily. I also try very hard not to use harsh soaps to wash my hands. Over time, your body will recover and that band of skin will return to its normal size. You might want to listen to Kimber's story. And she was a serious skin nipper and a nail polish swatch blogger. That is a dangerous and painful combination. Let's take a look at what is actually the cuticle, a transparent layer of skin from the underside of the epinicium that sticks to the nail plate while it is growing. We remove the cuticle before a manicure because polish doesn't stick to skin. The cuticle can only be removed with gentle scraping with a special tool and a cuticle remover to dissolve the skin. Removing the cuticle is critical when you are using regular nail polish. Well, actually, removing the cuticle is very important when applying acrylic or gel nail enhancements also. The product will bond to the nail plate better and will last longer between servicing. The best ingredients to dissolve the skin are sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, or potassium carbonate, also known as potash. With a pH of over 12, these substances work to soften and break down skin. The challenge is that these skin dissolving ingredients don't care if the skin is alive or dead. If the cuticle remover gets on your live skin, it will dissolve it also. The results are those tiny shredded looking hangnails around the cuticle line that are so painful and they bleed. It's very important to only allow the cuticle remover to sit on the actual nail plate. That way it's dissolving the cuticle skin that is on your nail plate. Oh, your next question, can I use lotion? Absolutely, keep using lotion. Just apply your oil first since the jojoba actually penetrates the skin. The ingredients in your lotion 
don't penetrate. They usually create a barrier that traps your body's natural moisture and oil in your skin. Since the first ingredient is usually water in lotions, this is why they rinse off so easily when you wash your hands. I always look for a lotion or a balm that doesn't contain water. Look for the wonderful oils and butters in the ingredient list. They will keep your skin soft and create a water resistant barrier for a few hand washings. You wanna keep up the great work, it will pay off. In conclusion, besides anxiety or boredom, which is worthy of a completely separate article, we tend to bite our skin because it's dry and hard. When we moisturize the skin with a high quality jojoba wax ester based nail oil, the skin will get softer and we will leave it alone. Remember to use your biting and picking as a mental trigger to use oil. Your skin and your nails will thank you. I hope that helps. Hey, it's Anna. I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit myblisskiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna signing off and sending you bliss.